Hello everyone, Triple S back here with some more like, Aviary Attorney. And uh what did we really do last time? All I can remember from last time is a chocolate bar. And I th was was it Lit Halls that we went to? I thought it was like a museum or something that we went to. Oh my god, I can't remember. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Palais de Louvre, I guess. Because it's just the next thing on the list. So we'll go there for today. Falcon and Sparrowson once again find themselves in the Wait, carousel outside the Louvre? I thought we already came here. I can't remember. Which exhibitions are we visiting today? Wasn't I just already here? Or am I getting confused? The Grand Gallery, screw it. Looks like that porcupine fellow was left the building. I swear we came here before in the last video. Oh god, I don't know. Whatever. Did you want to ask him something? Nothing particular. I just wanted some more details on this renowned vulps, but I suppose we'll have to leave it for now. Salda Tibler. I think we found everything of value here we could possibly find. Let's not lie. Okay, so we should go next. Oh my god, I've done this all before. Did I miss something? I must have missed something. Was there something I missed in the garden? Okay, well apparently we just did everything here, so I don't know why it was still showing up. Good call. Crap, it's Friday. <laughs> we just wasted a day! Ah, oh, bugger. I would have thought it would have disappeared with the goddamn clock going off, but I guess not. God damn, that's annoying. Okay, we'll go to the Chocolate Emporium. Whoa! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Lander Hagelslack's Chocolate Emporium, the finest Belgian chocolate shop in all of Paris. I am Lander, Lando Calrissian, the founder and owner of this establishment. I am JJ Falcon. I am the Millennium Falcon, defense attorney. Good day, Mojo. Oh, lawyers, very fancy. I must say that I once dreamed of being a lawyer, but well, circumstances wouldn't allow it. It's a funny story. You see, when I was a young boy, I befriended the son of a Hungarian attorney. Falcon, you had to help me. What is it? It's the smell, Falcon. It's overpowering me. It's demanding that I lay waste to the shop. For pity's sake, restrain yourself, Sparrowson. Oh, but I'm rambling, aren't I? So, are you messieurs here to buy some chocolate? Yes. No, no, no. We're actually here on business, won't you? Business? First things first, we believe that this chocolate wrapper originated from your shop. Are we correct? Oh, yes, yes. That is indeed the trademarked Hagelschlack wrapper for genuine Belgian Hagelschlack chocolate. Which was almost certainly bought from this very establishment. Very good. With that established in this establishment, there is something else we wish to ask, Monsieur Hagelslack. Who bought this piece of chocolate? Can you tell us who bought the chocolate that was containing this wrapper, Monsieur Hagelslack? I'm afraid not, Messieurs. Not just because of matters of confidentiality, although that is a fact you understand. That's a weird nod just in my German vicinity, but because I couldn't possibly know that. Oh, it's an engine! Someone revving a motorbike outside. I thought elephants never forget. My memory's impeccable, Monsieur, but you must understand that I have dozens of customers a day. There are hundreds of people who could have potentially bought this particular item. Ah, so your memory's good, but you need further information. If you were to give you the description and name of a person, would you be able to tell us whether that person, whether they purchased something from you? Oh, yes, yes, that I could probably do, Monsieur. Let me think, who to ask about? Oh, crap. Uh, da, 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 da. Where the hell is he? Who the hell's that? Oh, Grinway. You look... Oh, it's a frog! Oh, I, I, I looked weird then. It took me a second to realise who I was looking at. Where the hell is he? Ah, Juan Carrido. You seen Juan Carrido, the Prince of Spain? Prince of Spain? No, monsieur. Well, that's good to hear. I clearly would have turned into a dead end if our client turned out to be that chocolate fiend. I did once serve a princess from Malai, if that is any help. You see, I met the girl while hiking through the Himalayas. Please, stop. Let me think, who to ask about? Who to ask about? Major Howell? No. Uh, this is, the, this dodo is the motherly landlady. I can't remember who the hell. The swan. Have you ever served a flower-selling swan named Catherine Mary Signer? No, monsieur. Ah, 
you think, Falcon? I'm not so sure, to be perfectly honest. I'm sure with the chocolate fiend, an investigation would have become much simpler. But since she's not, let me think. Who to ask about? Oh god, I'm running out of things. <sighs> Maybe he's afraid of 30 before he gets to that guy? You ever said the porcupine artificial adder named Eric Pork? No one sure. As sure as I'm going to tell all these endless queries, perhaps, perhaps you should come back another day. No, Falcon, it's possible that we just haven't encountered the chocolate fiend yet. Rather than coming back here every day and making aimless guesses, we should wait until we have someone specific in mind. You might have a point, Sparrison. Thank you for your time, Monsieur Hagelslack. We shall return when our investigation has progressed a little. Anytime, Monsieur. And now it is Saturday. Occasionally, special cinematic scenes marked by this nation mark will pop up on the map screen. These cinematic scenes are only available for one day before disappearing, but they take no time to visit. Their viewing is entirely optional. Le Loops. Okay, we'll go there then. See what's happening here. Ooh. The storm is brewing, my brother. Word of the royal assassination attempt has spread. The proletariats grow confident. The bourgeoisie are cowering. It won't be long before we have rioting. And then, a revolution. Ooh, ooh! Was that supposed to be like a clue or something? Well, I guess need a pick-me-up come along to Madame Quinnell's... Uh, that, let's just go there, whatever, I don't care. Really, Falcon? I thought you were doing your mopey drinking. I'm not here to drink, Sparrison, or mope for that matter. Taverns are a fantastic hub of information. If you wish to get to learn more about this Prince Juan, then this would be the ideal place to start asking questions. Oh, that's pretty good thinking. Ah, you two are back. Are you feeling any better, Falcon? Much better, thank you for asking, Madame Quinnell. That's great to hear, hun. Will it be the usual? No, no, I'm back to investigative work today, so I've got to keep sharp. We want to know if you've seen a Prince of Spain around here recently. Prince of Spain? I don't know if you've noticed some, but this isn't exactly the classiest pub in Paris. I'm looking to serve the occasional bourgeois. Bush, bush. You can forget about seeing a member of royalty. That's a pity. Maybe I ask some of your patrons. Feel free. The old regulars, Rufus and Powell, are playing cards in the attic, same as always. But we get all sorts of colourful characters in the drinking room. But if you battled enough cages, you will find someone who knows whatever it is you want to know. Thank you, madam. Let's see, where to start? Drinking room. So there I was, in the grasslands, 10 kilometres down river, rifle in hand. I've been pursuing this set of footprints for an hour. I was getting closer and closer. I could almost smell the beast. Then I spotted it. It was a boar. A big stupid boar, completely oblivious to my existence. I readied my gun, I carefully took aim, and then... BAM! You shot it? No, it was the most peculiar thing that boar slumped over dead right before I could take the shot. Sounds like one of my attacks. Me nan went the same way. That's what I thought. But when I went to take a closer look, I noticed the boar was frothing at the mouth. Whoa. It was rabid? Possible, but I don't think so. I remembered reading something about frothing around the mouth being a symptom of poisoning. Needs to say, I left a dead animal alone. Good call, who wants to deal with tainted meat? Guess about the bar. Excuse me, monsieur. Yes, can I help you? Ruff! You thought that the beast you were tracking might have died from poisoning. Could you give us some further details? Further details? Not much of a poison expert, I'm afraid. Ruff! Well, what do you think caused it? I would guess that they ate something bad. I saw one of that poisonous plant around Wolfsbane, I think they call it. Ruff! But really, I have no idea. I'm a hunter, not a vet. Excuse me. Ruff! That's about Prince Juan. Excuse me, monsieur. What is it now? Ruff! I don't suppose you've seen a Juan Corrido around here. He's Spanish royalty. Foxy fellow. Swanky hat. Calls everyone senor. That doesn't sound familiar. Ruff! Do you recall singing like that, Piero? Ruff! Ain't got a clue. Ruff! Sorry, monsieurs, you barked up the wrong tree. Ruff. Well, can you uh, what can you tell us about the Spanish royal family? Do we look like walking encyclopedias or something? Ruff. I'm afraid my compadre is a point. If you want to talk about hunting, then I'm your man. Ruff. But Spanish royalty? That sounds like a question to be answered at a library, monsieur, not a tavern. Ruff. A library? Maybe you're right. Sorry for bothering you, monsieur. Eat them be. Let's get them some space. S space and peas. Peas and space. Peas of space. Space peas. Oh, God. What the hell are you? Are you a dog? Are you a rough? Come on, pal. Just one more game of Jacques Noir. 
Oh, you're a bird, I can see that. Absolutely not, my bullet is searching enough as it is. Rufus. Rufus the pug. Dog. Bear. What the hell are you? Please, leave and let you deal this time. The answer's no, Rufus. I'm skinned, so if you want to play cards, we'll have to buy someone else. Fine, that's that big fellow. Excuse me, monsieur. Yes, you, monsieur. Would you care to play some Jack of Absolutely. Absolutely. Deal me in, monsieur. Oh, well then. Do you know how to play? Of course. Of course, I've been playing for years. Yeah, right. Don't get cocky, Falcon. Very good. I should be the dealer. We'll bet five francs per game. Here we go. Oh my god, we're actually playing. Shit, I don't know how to play. <laughs> go for 21. My turn. It's, it's an X. It's, it's a 10. I'm pretty sure that's a 10. Stand. Okay, I think I did it wrong. I lose. Oh well. <laughs> I'm looking at my show. Must have fun. Shall we run around? Yes, fill me in. I'm going to try it again. And let's see. The aim for 21. Go for 21. Right. Okay, what's the first card? A 10. Hit. Stand. What does standing do? Oh, buggy you! Look at my show myself as I go around. Yes! I'm gonna lose all my money doing this! This is so much fun. Yes, alright, go for 21. What's the first card? Is it 10 again? 10. Hit. 19. Hit. I lose. <laughs> I knew I'd lose. Yes, still be in. <laughs> I was so suck at gambling, I'll lose all my money. <laughs> right, is it ten? Ooh, a four. Hit. A six. Seven. Ooh, should I go? Hit. Ah, oh, bollocks! Yes. <laughs> I could play this all day. Right, what's my first card? Is it a 10? Oh, it's a 4. It's 10. 19. Stand. Oh, I've got a 19. That's pretty good. Come on, I'm going to win this. Oh, 1. 10. 12. 17. Yeah, I win! Well played, Monsieur. Here's your payout. Shall we have another round? Yes! Once more! I'm gonna do it once more! Come on! <laughs> so fun! Gambling's so fun! <laughs> Go for 21! I wanna play this with actual real people now. Oh shit, one? God damn. Ooh, 11. 17. Ah, oh, bollocks! Why did it have to be a freaking nine? I was about to. Ugh. No, I'm done now. No, I think I'm done. Maybe another day, Monsieur. I understand, feel free to come back at time. That's it? It's just. That's it! Oh, well. well, we figured out about some poison at least. Ready to hit the road? Yep, let's go, I guess. Don't know where we're gonna go. A new day is now Sunday. Uh, where about some manuscripts? So, yeah, we've gotta go to the library now. If it looked like reading, Alley? Not quite, Sparrowson. I'm following the hunter, hunting beagle's advice. Don't eat po <coughs> poison pork, pardon me. The other piece of advice that if we want to learn about a member of royalty, we should hit the library. Oh, that makes sense. Say, Falcon, I would mean to ask, since we're in a library and all, are you a classic literature fan or do you prefer more modern works? Uh, I enjoy modern works. I like modern novels. Have you read The Three Musketeers yet? It is heaps of romance, intrigue, and action. You would love it, Sparrowson. Don't patronise me, Falcon. Of course I've read The Three Musketeers. Despite its contrived narrative turns, I enjoyed the novel's scathing critique of our current socio-political climate. Wow, that's quite an insightful review. Wait a minute, you just memorised that single sentence to sound well read, didn't you? M maybe Would you monsieurs mind knowing your voices? I can hear you squawking from the other side of the building. I don't know if that's a guy or a woman. I don't know, I just put on a weird voice that kind of half sounded like a weird donkey, I don't know. Wait, 
That hat just made me think of Discworld. Going postal. Ah, my apologies, Monsieur. Oh, it's a guy. We'll keep it down. Wait, you're a librarian, aren't you? An astute observation. Yes, Monsieur. As the only quiet person in the library, I am most assuredly the librarian. Okay, that wasn't a donkey noise. I can't do a donkey noise. Well, now that we have your attention, my friend wants to ask you something. I do. Oh, right, I do. Don Quick Soaps. I borrowed this book from a friend. What are you considering about it? Don Quick Soaps for the Mancha? It's a classic. Everybody has read it. Yeah, everybody. But for those who haven't... Huh. I'm not going to sit here and summarise the great work of literature for two episodes that we're lazy to read. Nor would I expect you to, Mancha, but what can you tell us about the physical book itself? This particular book didn't come from any library, if that's what you're asking. See? There's no library stamp or card. I assume it was acquired from a bookshop. A French bookshop, if the French translation of publishing information wasn't a giveaway. I see, thank you. Any questions? Spanish wine, okay. You sound like a scholarly, well-read individual. I'm sure you're up to date on geopolitical news and the like. I don't need your praise. Spit out whatever imbecile, imbecilic question is in the back of your throat. Uh, well, we understand that the Spanish throne is currently under a dispute. Can you give us a brief rundown on who the contenders are? What a trivial question. You an elementary school child can name the immediate heirs to every throne in Europe. Yep. Yeah, but for the sake of those children who slipped through that class, can you refresh our memories? Huh, <laughs> very well. Pay attention, because I'm not repeating myself. The current reigning monarch of Spain is Queen Regnant Isabella II of the House of Bourbon, daughter of King Ferdinand VII. Upon her death, the crown would likely fall to her husband, King Consort Francis, Duke of Cadiz. Although it is certainly possible that an an immediate family member could stake a claim. However, the Queen's position is currently being disputed by the Carlists, headed by the Count of Montemolin. Montemelion. Mont Mon yeah, I don't know. I hope that answers your question. Did you catch all that, Sparrison? Not a word. I'm sure we're actually interested in the Prince Juan Corrida of Spain? I don't think I heard that name in your explanation. A Prince Juan Corrido? Is that what you said? I'm sure, I think you've been misinformed. There is no current prince of Spain, and I'm not even sure Corrida is a real name. It's certainly no reliable of any Spanish monarchy. How strange. What's this mean, Falcon? Well, one thing one thing is for sure, our client is not the prince of Spain. Maybe he's a delusional lunatic, or perhaps he's involving us in some sort of con. We don't have long before the trial, but it may be in our interest to confront Prince Han directly and get some answers. Right. You two quite done chit-chatting. That is all. Don't worry, Monsieur. I think we are done here. Thanks for your time. Huh. Then I bid you good day. Damn, we're getting through so many days. It's now Monday. So the... Uh, I guess we'd have to go to the prison to talk to Juan Credo next time. I'm pretty sure we'd have to go to the prison. Is it the prison? But there is a clock thing. On the, uh, the, I don't know, but uh, oh, that's what the clock. The clock isn't like an indicator. Oh, I forgot that the clock isn't like an indicator of something important here that you need to find out. It's just an indicator that if I go there, it's gonna take a full day. God damn, I'm such an idiot. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for some more Aviary Attorney, where I'll try going to the Conciergerie to see if we can talk to Juan Carido there. But if not, then. We'll just head straight to the Pass of Justice and probably get back into the courtroom. So anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Good. Bye. This rock dubbed his name Waro Ryota. He's been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind.